Hi, Andy. Good morning. This is again Dr. C. H. Kiran Kumar dealing you the machine learning. Right. We are going to deal with the distance clustering. Distance clustering. In this part, we are going to discuss what is called scatter matrix. A scatter matrix generally consists of several pairwise scatter plots. In pairwise scatter plots of variables presented in a matrix form. Pairwise scatter plots, first pair, second pair, third pair, pairwise and represented in a matrix form. That is called scatter matrix. Scatter. Let us see the formulas and all. Right. The scatter matrix formula is x is equal, s is equal to x minus 1 mu mu whole power t into x minus 1 mu, where mu is the mean, mean, column mean. Is a row vector containing all column means, all column means of x. All column means of x. Right, this can be written as, right, sigma i is equal to 1 to n, xi minus mu whole power t into xi minus mu. Only we are talking about mu's, means. Right, let us see, if we see an example, we will be understanding very clearly. Scat of x is equal to there is a big formula or you can also, which is equal to the trace of a scatter matrix. Trace, what is the trace of a scatter matrix? See, diagonal element, the sum of diagonal elements is called scatter, scan, uh, trace of a scatter matrix. Let us see some more, right? Let us, let D be divided into K subsets, D1, D2, etc., D, DK, where mu j denote the mean of DJ. That is mu1 denotes d1, mu2 denotes d2, something like this, mu k denotes d k. Right. And sj is a scatter matrix for dj. And s1 of a scatter matrix, s2 over d, s3 over d, etc. sk, s k or k scatter matrices. Now we can see yes, the final scatter matrix s is equal to. Sigma j is equal to 1 to k, s j plus b. What is b? The b is, b is a scatter matrix is that results by replacing each point in D with corresponding mu j. Mu j, mu j to d. <coughs> Just there, that is called scatter matrix. And all means, all means, means to d, that is no matrix, no scatter matrix. Each SJ is called within cluster scatter matrix, within cluster scatter matrix and describes the compactness of the JF. Now B is between cluster, cluster scatter matrix, between and within cluster, between cluster, within cluster. SJ is called within cluster and B is called between cluster and scatter matrix. And now it follows that traces of these matrices can be decomposed in the D, which gives, right, this is the scatter matrix, scatter of D. Let us see with an example. The k-means problem is to find a partition that minimizes the total within cluster scatter. Let us consider a small problem. Consider the following five points are there, 0, 3, 3, 3, 3, 0, minus 2, minus 4, minus 4, minus 2. Three points, these points conveniently centered around zero. Now the scatter matrix can be written as series. First, zero, three, transpose. Three, 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 zero, minus two, minus four, minus four, minus two, into, so zero, three, 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 zero, minus two, minus four, minus 4 minus 2. If you multiply these two, so this is multiplied with this, that gives 0 into 0, 3 into 3, 3 into 3, mumul tumidi, tumidi, pachinimidi, minus. Now what is the no, uh, normal trace of this matrix is no, diagonal column sum, that is 38 plus 38, that is equal to now let us uh, divide the problem into 
subproblems, and then we we'll let us find. Let us divide the problem into, you uh, know, first two points, two points on cluster as one cluster, and the remaining three points as another cluster. So first three two points means. Uh, right, zero, three, three, three. This is first cluster, and the remaining three are second cluster. So we we'll get zero, three, three, three. So what is mu? Mu is equal to three plus zero by two, three plus three by two. That gives you one point five comma three. And now, if you calculate S one is equal to, see, zero minus one point five, and the three minus. Three, comma, this three minus one point five, and this three minus three. See, remember our formula. This is our formula minus, my dear friends. S is equal to x minus one mu, where mu is mean, mu whole power t into x minus one mu. So in that case, we'll get the same zero point zero minus one point five. Three minus one point five, then three minus three, and then three minus three. Multiplication of these two would be here. What is this? See, this one point five is multiplied with this. This one point five is multiplied with this. We'll get four point five, and this is uh, this is multiplied with uh, this is multiplied with zero. This is also multiplied with zero. We'll get zero here. This zero is multiplied with this zero. So we'll get zero. We'll get zero. What is the trace of S one? S one is so four point five. Or trace of trace scat of D scat of D is scat of S one would be four point five. Now coming to the other three points. What are the other three points? Three points. Other three points are. So three zero minus two minus four and minus four minus two. So if you consider mu, that is three minus two minus four by three, comma zero minus four minus two by three. That gives you three minus four minus six three by three one minus one, comma minus two. So mu two is minus one minus two. Now we can calculate S two. So right now, if you calculate S two is equal to three minus minus one, that is plus one. Three minus minus one, comma. Right, minus two, minus one. Minus four, minus one, right? And then, and then minus minus two, and then minus four, minus minus two, and then minus two, minus minus two. That gives you so this two, and uh, we have to take. Uh, The original matrix. So this is four, and then uh, this is uh, zero minus two minus two four, and this is minus two minus one. So in the transposition, minus two minus one minus three, and this is minus four plus two. That gives you minus two, and this is minus four minus one minus five. This is minus two. Plus two, it gives you zero, and uh, multiplication of these two. So, what is the uh, uh, trace of S two or scat of S two is twenty six plus eight. That is equal to thirty four. Now, let us calculate B. So, B is equal to now. The first uh, cluster. What is the first cluster mean? Mu one is one point five comma 
three. The second cluster is mu two is minus one comma minus two. So B is so B is one point five three. One point five three. And this is minus one minus two. Minus one minus two. Minus one minus two. Into one point five three. One point five three minus one minus two. Minus one minus two. Minus one minus two. If we multiply these two, we will be getting seven point five fifteen. Fifteen thirty. So now trace of or scat scat of B is trace. So this this thirty seven point five. So so this is how we can calculate. This is what we assume assume here. Assumption is first two points as cluster one. See. Zero three and three comma three cluster one and cluster two is three zero minus two minus four and minus four minus two. This is cluster two. Now suppose suppose if I interchange like. Three points as plus cluster, and there zero three, three three, and three zero. This is first cluster, cluster one, and second cluster is so minus two minus four, and minus four minus two. If this is taken into consideration, this is cluster one, this is cluster two. So what is mu zero plus three plus three? That is six by three, three by three. So it gives you three, six by three. So sorry, two, and then three plus three plus zero again two. So the mean is two comma two for this. What is the mean of this? Minus two minus four by two, minus two minus four minus six by two. That is three minus three. So it gives you a minus three comma minus. Three. In the same way, if you do all scatter matrix S1 dash, S2 dash, and then if you find B dash, we will be ending with uh, ending with uh, what is called trace is equal to six. So now we have to now K means algorithm. K means algorithm should find K means algorithm. Should find the the appropriate cluster or appropriate combinations or appropriate clusters. Hope you understood. <coughs> no, the primary task here is the primary task here is divide division of clusters, division of clusters, clusters का divide चेंज no this type of algorithm is called as lloyd's algorithm or k means algorithm the algorithm iterates between partitioning the data using the nearest centroid decision rule and recalculating centroids from a partition this is called k means algorithm k means algorithm if it is centroid we need to calculate only means But if it is metroid, we have to calculate distance to each. We have to calculate distance minus. We have here three algorithms, totally three algorithms, which describe the k-means algorithm. Okay, let us see the algorithms. Right, this is k-means clustering using Euclidean distance, dist two. No, what is the input here? Data, number of clusters. K belongs to n. Number of clusters are also given as input. K cluster means mu one, mu two, means mu one, mu two, etc. Mu k. 
So randomly initialize the k vectors mu1, mu2, mu3, some values or zero, something like this. Repeat, assign each x belongs to D. Each x belongs to D. That is, in our example, we have taken 0, 3, 3, 3. So this is one x, this is another x. So x belongs to D. Argument, minimum of z dist to x minus x comma mu z, whichever gives you the minimum. In that case, uh, you just x belongs to D. Assign each x belongs to D to argument arg min j dist to of x comma mu j. Now, for j is equal to 1 to k, do dj is equal to x belongs to D such that x is assigned to cluster j. See, cluster j. x is assigned to cluster j. Just like this. So, if it is assigned, something like this. Now, comma, suppose if this is also assigned, 3 comma 3. Now, what is mu z? Mu z is very simple. 1 by, 1 by, what is this? 1 by modulus of dj, that is, this is 1, this is 2, 1 by 2 into x belongs to dj x, that is this 0 plus 3. Sigma in the Gavati, sigma, there is a sigma, so 0 plus 3. This is for 1, 1k, 1. If you increase j is equal to 2, then automatically we can calculate 1 by 2 into 3 plus 3. So we are calculating here the mean. And this is the end of this for loop. And we used, we can get mu z, clear the mu z which is in the. So this is the calculation of, calculation of mu. This is the calculation of mu, my dear friends. And here, this is the, right? Clustering, clustering, clusters, forming of clusters. Until, repeat these two, until no change in mu1 to mu k. So mu1 to mu k. Now we have to find out the minimum. No? So first we <coughs> take this, take this, and then we'll find out the dz, use your mu j. Now, <coughs> if it is the minimum, right, this is how we are going. So this is, and it, it gives you mu1, mu2, mu k as the final value. Let me be very clear, Andy. This is how uh, k means algorithm. K means clustering using Euclidean distance dist2. Euclidean distance dist2. Hope you understood, right? Next. Medoids. What is called medoid? See here. The same, there is no much difference between this and this. See here. There is no difference up to this point, that only this part is different. Here we are calculating the mean. Here we are calculating the mean, and but here we are calculating the distance. Distance. Distance from each and every point and finding the minimum of that. See, we are calculating distance x comma x dash. That's all. So the only difference between these two algorithms is here we are calculating the mean ending. But here we are calculating the, because it is a medoid, so we don't know, go with the uh, means. Medoid key means, k means, k difference in the day. In k means, we arithmetic mean kibalto, whereas in medoids, arithmetic mean possible out the property, we are going with medoid. Medoid in the Pratidani, general ga, medoids are not used for, no, medoids are used when you are unable to calculate uh, the distances. So, but in your no, you distance calculate, yes, this is called medoid, right? Hope you understood, right? Now, if you come to this point, so first, for example, if you have 
I think if you have uh, two things like, uh, I'll just uh, give an example of this. First, suppose you have a set of numbers. Like 8, 44, 50, then 58, 84. Now, how do you group clustering? See, first you take 8. So, the remaining are 44, 50, 58, and 84. Now, in the, this is first case. In the second case, it can be written as 8, 44. And the remaining will be 50, 58, 84. And third case would be, third case would be 8, 44, 50. And 58, 84. The fourth case would be 8, 44, 50, and 58, and 84. This is how this cluster, this is how, no, the clusters are formed. And for each cluster, we are finding the music. So this is how, uh, no, clustering, first clustering is done, and after that, no, we are finding music. So means, so this is the algorithm. So we have no seen two algorithms for finding uh, the means. That is one is K means and then another K medoid. K means K medoid. The only difference between these two algorithms is K means finds means by just finding the mean. Mean, mean means oh, zero calculating. Uh, the just average is called mean. Where here mean is not possible, then only it is called medoid. So here we calculate the distance. Distance. That is the difference between these two algorithms. Now let us see. No, the medoid partitioning around medoids clustering using arbitrary distinct metric, distance metric dis. Arbitrary. Here we used, we used here distance to every point but here arbitrary distance metric we are using arbitrary distance metric we are not going with every point we are just limiting ourselves so this is how the only difference here is see here now we are finding the nearest for k is equal to what bz is equal to clusters we are forming the clusters different clusters 8, 8, 44, something. Now we find Q. Q. Sigma Z. Sigma M, Distance of X, comma mu Z. For each medoid M and each non-medoid O do calculate the improvement in Q resulting from swapping M, comma O. M, Boni. Swap chase. Swap chase. Again, we can find Q. So, whichever, if there is some improvement, we use that Q. Otherwise, the same Q is continued. Select the pair with maximum improvement and swap. So, until there is no further improvement possible. This is called, no, partitioning around medoids clustering using arbitrary distance metric. Right. Right. The next concept is hierarchical clustering. Hierarchical clustering. Hierarchical clustering. Here, normally hierarchical, I think we, you all be, might be knowing. Hierarchy, principal, then comes to, in our college, if you say uh, principal, then uh, deans, then each, every dean, or HODs, HODs, HODs to teachers, teachers to students. So that is called hierarchy. Hierarchy is, we consider trees here called as dendrograms, my dear friends, dendrograms. Dendrograms. 
which are purely defined in terms of a distance measure. Because dendrograms use features only indirectly as the basis on which distance measure is calculated. They partition the given data rather than the entire instance space and hence represent a descriptive clustering rather than a predictive one. See, for example, you can see this is a dendrogram. This is a dendrogram. See, let me tell you again. We can trees are called dendrograms, my dear, my dear friends. But the only difference between decision trees and here, the trees are dendrograms use features only indirectly. Indirectly, it uses feature, but distance measure is calculated. This is important. The distance measure is calculated, and they partition the given data. Or rather than the entire instance space, they divide the given data on distance measure. And hence represent, right, you can see here an example. See, this is how it is. This is a dendrogram. The difference between these two is four, and these two is one, these two is one, and these two is four. So you can merge these two. See, it shows G, F, and these two are merged. Later, these two can also be merged because the, the difference between these two is also four. So this is called, no, a tree is taken. Uh, this is called dendrogram. Right, anyhow, we'll see. Right. <coughs> so this is called dendrogram. No. Linkage. No, you have to know two terms called linkage. What do you mean by linkage? Given a data set D, a dendrogram is a binary tree, binary tree, two, only two nodes. This is called binary tree with the elements of D as its leaves. With the elements of D as its leaves or elements of D as leaves. An internal node of the tree represents the subset of elements in the leaves of the subtree rooted to that at that node. See, this is how it is. This is you no know, subset. This is subsets. This is another subset. This is the final subset. So An internal node of the tree represents the subset of elements in the leaves of the subtree rooted at that node. The level of a node is the distance between the two clusters. Level of a node, level of a node represents the distance between level of a node, level of a node is the distance between the two clusters represented by children of the node. Level, so leaves have level zero is said to be at the root node. Right, this is the dendrogram. Right, let us have definition, a linkage definition. A linkage function calculates the distance between arbitrary subsets of instance space given a distance matrix. Distance metric, distance metric. The most common linkage functions are single linkage defines distance between two clusters as the smallest pairwise distance between elements of each cluster. Smallest pairwise distance. The smallest pairwise distance between elements from each cluster. Complete linkage defines the distance between two clusters as the largest pointwise distance. As the largest pointwise distance. Average linkage defines the cluster distance 
as the average point-wise distance. Centroids defines the cluster distance as the point distance between the cluster means. These are all the definitions, my dear friends. You can see mathematically, these can be shown like this. Min of distance comma xy, max of distance comma xy, and sigma, because we are calculating the average. So sigma x is equal to a, y is equal to b, this of x comma y by cardinality of a, cardinality of b. Centroid, no, for everything you have to calculate the average here, this average and this average, this is called centroid. So let us see an algorithm. A tree is built from the data points upwards and hence, see first leaves and then internal node and then internal node and then internal node. So this type of tree is called as agglomerative, 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 agglomerative algorithm. At each iteration, the algorithm constructs a new partition of the data by merging the two nearest clusters together. Nearest cl clusters together, see, the nearest clusters together, see here, we are clustering, merging, these two are merged, these two are merged. So this is the an algorithm, this is an algorithm, right, which tells you hack, H-E-A-C, hack, hack, hierarchical agglomerative clustering, hierarchical agglomerative clustering, data D, subset of X, linkage functions, defined in terms of distance metric, a dendrogram representing a descriptive clustering of D. Initialize clusters of singleton data points, create a leaf node at level zero. This is leaf node at level zero. This is leaf node at level zero. So there is no element. Repeat, find a pair of clusters X comma Y with lowest linkage L, with lowest linkage L, and then merge. So this will come, this will come, and merging. This is called, no, construction of tree. Create a parent XY at level L, see, at level one. See. This is how it is, until all data points are in one cluster, right? So this is how it is come, it is done. So this is how we can construct a binary tree with linkage levels. This is the example, right? So first, see, four, eight, two, three, six, seven, something like this. Now, when we find, no, the this is one distance, this is one distance, so these two can be merged. These two can be merged like this. So this is called dendrogram. This is called hierarchical clustering. Hope you understood, Andy. Thank you.